Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your seventh Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at some different module patterns. Alright then guys, so in the last tutorial we went ahead and created our first module and we called that module count.js, right? And what we did is we just applied to module.exports this function right here, counter so that this is now made accessible outside of the module wherever we require that module. So we can do something like this. We can use that counter here because we've stored that in this variable right here. But what if we want to return various things? What if this was not just a counter module, but a module that returned different mathematical things? So let's just rename this first of all. I'm gonna call this stuff because it's not just going to be a counter it's going to be other stuff as well all right cool name for a module stuff and um, what we need to do is update this right here to require stuff all right let's save that now what we want to do is create some different functions in this module that we can use so i'm going to create another variable and i'm going to call this adder and this is going to add two numbers together so i'll set it equal to a function which is gonna take two numbers, A and B. And then what we're gonna do is return a string, which is just gonna say the sum of these two numbers is whatever it is. Okay, so let's return. And this time I'm gonna use a template string, which is a new addition to ES6, ECMAScript 6. And a template string uses these backticks, not these quotation things. And a backtick on your keyboard is normally found towards the top left underneath your escape key. And the difference is that in template strings, we can embed variables or expressions without concatenating them like this. So I'll show you that now. I'm just gonna say the sum of the two numbers is, and then to embed a variable, we use the dollar sign, then the curly braces, and we pop the expression inside here, which is gonna be evaluated. So I'm just gonna do A plus B, okay? So now we no need to uh, concatenate that because it's within a template string. All right, cool. So now we have a second function in this module that I want to export. And I'm also going to do one more thing, and that's just going to be pi, and I'll set it equal to a number, 3.142. And I know we can get this on the math object anyway in JavaScript, but uh, I'm just demonstrating how to export different things. So let's save that now. I want all of these three things to be accessible in here when we require this module. So how do we do that? Because down here we've said module export equals counter, and we said it equal to this variable. Well, module.exports is just an empty object to begin with, okay? So what we could do is add on properties to this object, and we could say module exports dot counter equals counter, right? So then the counter property of this exports object is equal to this function. And therefore we can add on other properties which equal to different functions in this module. So let's copy and paste that dude and come underneath and we'll change this counter to adder. And we'll set this equal to the adder function. Right, so now we're exporting both the counter and the adder on different properties of this exports object. Right, now let's do a third one and this time we'll call it pi and we'll just set that equal to pi. So now we're exporting all three of these three things and they're all gonna be made available outside of the module where we require this module. So let's save this and this time what I wanna do is not call this variable counter because that's just one of the properties or one of the functions in this module I want to call this stuff. So we're going to store this module.exports object, right, which has these three properties on it in this variable called stuff. So now what we can do is instead of saying counter, we say stuff.counter. Because remember, stuff is just module.exports. That is what is returned to us, this object. And therefore, stuff.counter is equal to this function, which is what we're doing right here, stuff.counter. 
So let's save that and just run this file in Node. We'll say Node app and see if it works. Yeah, there are three elements in this array. Cool, so let's try another thing. Let's try calling this function right here, add it. So again, we'll console.log and this time we'll say stuff.add it and we'll pass in two numbers. We'll say five and six. Save that and come and run this in Node and we get, first of all, there are three elements in this array, that's this thing. And then we say the sum of the two numbers is 11. So this has worked, brilliant. Now we can also access that pi variable because that's just on module.exports.py. So why don't we pass that into this thing right here? So let's say console.log stuff.adder. And then what we're gonna do is add pi, but we need to reference it on stuff. So stuff.py and then add it to five. So let's save that and do this one more time. And then we get the sum of the two numbers is 8.142, which is just 3.142, which is pi plus five. Okay, so now we've exported multiple things from this module, which is pretty cool. Now we could do this, or we could do it a slightly easier way. We've referenced these variables up here. We've given them all a variable name and set those equal to a function. And then we've passed that variable through to these different properties on module that exports. But we could just cut out the middleman, so to speak, and just do something like this. Copy that and paste it there. And then copy this and paste it there instead. And then finally, this one and pop that there. So now we've still exported all of these different things on module that exports, but we've kind of cut out a bit of the code. So let's save that and make sure this still works in app.js. So we'll say node app and yep, everything still works. Pretty cool. So that is another way that we can export these things in the module. I'm going to show you one more way we can do this and what I'm going to do is set these back equal to the variables. So this was var counter and this was var adder and this one was var pi. So we still need to export some things. So let's say module.exports and set that equal to an object. So this is object literal notation right here, yeah? And then we can just pop different properties or methods in this object. So we could say counter is counter, right? And then adder is adder. And then finally, pi is pi. So that's doing the same thing. We're still adding these properties onto module.exports, but we're just doing it in literal notation right here. Okay, so let's save that now and see if this still works. So node app, and yeah, everything still works. We still get those three things logged down here to the terminal. Cool. So they were just a few different module patterns that we can use to export our data or functions and make them available to other files when we require the modules, okay? So any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.